Okay, last, in the last tutorial we looked at the for loop where you could say do this particular thing for, you know, from this number to this number. This next one is similar and it is called the while loop and it is slightly different in purpose. Uh, I agree they're very, very similar, but let's have a look at the PDF and learn a little bit about it. So, here we go in the while loop. Now, where is it? It's up here. Um, would have helped if I'd been on the right page. So, number is a variable obviously and it equals 100. So it says while, and this is the while loop, while the number is less than 1, um, then write the number. And the number is going to equal the number divided by 2. And then end while. So it's basically saying, oh sorry, it's greater than 1. So it's basically saying only do this loop while this condition is met, while the number is greater than 1. So let's um, cut and paste this into the, the compiler and let's have a look at it. So we put it in there and we run it and so what we're looking for is it'll start number will start off at 100 so the first thing it will do is it'll write the number and then it'll divide the number by 2 because number equals number divided by 2 and then end while so when that stops being true it will um, it will stop the program so it only runs it while that's true so let's have a look at what it looks like okay so uh, 100, 50, 25, uh, 12.5, gets to 1.56 but the next number would have been less than 1 so it doesn't keep running it. So it basically ends the program because that while condition isn't true any longer. So let's um, change this up a bit to give you a, a look at what it looks like. So let's say that instead of being um, divided by 2, let's make it times 0.75, so 75%. So every time it runs, it will make number 75% of its previous value. And let's bring it down to, actually let's bring it down to like 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and see how that runs. So we'll start at 100 again, and let's run the program. So as you can see, we had 100, 75%, 56, a lot of decimals there down to 42, 31, getting down, getting smaller, and then we actually spend quite a bit of time in less than 1, but at 75% of it, so it's getting smaller and smaller until it's 0.1 and a bunch of decimals, and then obviously goes under 0.1. So that's just another way of running a loop until you get a particular value that you expect. So uh, let's, um, let's have a look, and let's say while the number is less than let's make it a million. Okay, so a hundred. Now let's times it. Let's make it a hundred and twenty, a hundred and twenty-five percent. So it's going to increase by twenty-five percent each line until it gets up to a million. So let's run that. I expect, yeah, I expect that'll give us quite a few numbers. Actually not that many. So there you go, you go up to 125, 156, 195. So there you go, if somebody will give you 25% um, interest on, on something, you're actually up to a million pretty quickly. We're up to 940,000 there, and obviously the next value is over a million. So that's the, uh, what's that called? That's the while loop, and that's how you use that, and I look forward to your example.